So the first thing we need to do is remove the gas pedal. So here's how to remove the gas pedal on a 2019 370Z. This may vary a little bit depending on your vehicle. There's two bolts that hold the pedal on. This whole assembly will come off. So we need to get this cover off to get to the two bolts. To do that, you'll need a little micro driver. Let's see if I can keep my hands cut out of the way of the film. Push it down in the front and pry out. And you'll just kind of have to work it in there and that cover will pop up off there. Now, we live in the beach area, so we had a lot of sand in here. So sometimes we get sand and stuff down in these. So you got to clean them out. You may have to take your driver and run it around the edge to clean off the edge. But these two little tabs in the middle here, let's see if I can get a better view. Now the tab in the middle there on both sides are what actually holds it on. So if you're putting pressure on it, put pressure on this end and that end. But again, you may have to work your uh, screwdriver all the way around the edge to get it loose. And you'll see underneath there's a couple spots where the nuts go back on or where the bolts are. So when you put it back on, just line it up evenly, pop it back in place. If it doesn't go on that easy, then there's probably something down in there. So make sure you sweep it out or clean it out really good. Again, screwdriver in, pop the tab off. So next thing we want to do is take these two bolts out. These are 10 millimeter. You don't have to use this long as an extension because you don't need it. But I'm using it just so you can see what I'm doing. So I broke them loose. Unbolt. bolts are loose and our pedal just lifts up off of here now now we we'll remove the wiring harness so the next step is to remove the wiring harness you need to push in with your thumb you have to push in kind of hard on this I take the bottom or my other thumb and just slide it up so now we're disconnected here if it's in the way, you can take this little tab off the top here that holds the harness in place, but you shouldn't have to. The next thing we want to do is we want to take our pedal commander. It only fits in one way, so you can't really put the wrong end on the wrong end. You take the female side to the male side. Plugs in, and you take the other end. Look it back into your factory pedal, like so. And we're going to tuck these up in the corner. I pull that back out for a second. If you notice on the back of the gas pedal, there's a little clip. There's a bracket right here. So when you're putting the pedal back in, you have to get your wire out of the way. Lift up on the pedal a little bit. Slide it down and you'll actually feel it grab onto that piece. A little bit if it doesn't move you got it right so harness out of the way I'm gonna drop my two bolts back in camera a little bit now you can use an impact if you want on these uh, if you watch my other videos I'm most of the time have an impact in my hand it's just too tight to get in here and show a video and have the impact in the way so that's why i'm not using it this time these are not super tight these are probably 18 20 foot pounds at the most so you just want to go tight and snug so once it gets tight maybe a quarter turn after that once that's done pop the cap back on and there's our pedal commander installed so i'm going to route this up underneath the uh plastic here a little bit somewhere and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna test it out first and make sure it works and everything before I actually you know button everything up in place so I'm gonna zip tie the cable up out of the way of my pedal up here you can't see because my camera's at the wrong angle or my wires hanging down a little bit I'm gonna zip tie this out of the way so my foot doesn't hit it so I'm gonna temporarily secure this to the side and then we're gonna take it out and test drive it so on the Z it was fairly easy I just tucked it up behind the carpet, ran back the carpet underneath the uh, vent. It literally just slid up underneath that tab. Pull my slack out of there so it's not hanging down. Again, you don't want to catch your foot or your leg on this, so make sure you don't make a trip hazard. 
And then once I figure out where to mount this at, I can probably just mount it up on the uh, console. That's where I'm going to set it for now until I test drive it. And I'll find a place to mount it. Okay, we're going to start it up for the first time. Uh, one of the complaints I saw online was that throwing codes on people's cars when you installed this, but we're going to find out right now. We'll fire it up. Everything's on like normal. I don't have my seatbelt on, so the seatbelt light's on, but everything started right up. Uh, no check engine lights yet. 